Welcome to another episode of At Your Warehouse. I make skis, and today, I really don't care if any of y'all watch. I'm here to help one guy, a new order selector that left a comment on one of my videos. He said, hey bro, I'm at Albertsons in Meat Deli. Any tips on how I can create good stack pallets? Loaders are literally sending me pictures of my pallets to the supervisor. Well, that's kind of a douche move. Uh, especially for new guys. Why don't you give him some advice instead of trying to get him fired? And I told him he should send uh, pictures to my Discord. He said, I'll try. I'm very new. I can't have phones out during work. Since he wasn't able to get pictures, I told him to go check out uh, How to Stack and Be Fast video that I have. I also told him to check out Tim Reviews Everything because he's got a lot of good information for new order selectors. And he does that on a daily basis almost. He's posting videos. Uh, so he... Then messaged me on the Discord. Uh, he, he said he'll try his best to get a picture. He finally got some pictures for me. And so we're going to go through those pictures. Um, he also submitted this to Tim Reviews Everything. He's going to have a different perspective than I do. He just made a video and talked a lot about this guy's palette. So let's look at these pictures. Hopefully I can help him out and get him on the right track. My main issue that he has is he's not cross-tying anything. I'm gonna draw some lines for him. We're gonna draw these lines so you can just see how this is how this is stacked. Cause it's it's hard to get to really see it at first sometimes. So you you got it right here. Went like this. Uh, we got a cross tie here, and we got a cross tie here. But this pretty much goes like that. And we're gonna show all the cross ties. Oh, that's not a cross tie. Uh, Control D, boom, all right. That's pretty much it. That's what he built. And if you can see that, look, so all this has nothing holding it here. There's nothing holding it here. This whole corner has nothing holding it. This middle is just sitting here in the middle. And he's sort of rocking, this is gonna fall. Um, and he's not keeping to his edges. You see right here, you jut out right here, come out like that. That's not good. That makes this whole bit right above it unstable. So this is this is your line right here. And you see that gap there? You want this to be vertical. All right, it's not as important up here, but down here, really keep that straight. Because if you make it um, not straight at the bottom, it's going to taper out or it's going to taper in. Because you're matching each layer with the one below it. All right, you're, 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 you're feeling for it. You're feeling that edge. And you're setting that box down. Um, but you want a cross tie here, for sure. The, um, I don't know exactly what you could have done different because I can't see all the cases. Um, but you would maybe turn this one the other way so that it would go like that. And now it's overlapping over this middle one. Okay? And then you have this little gap here. And maybe you could still put this in here. It's very possible uh, they could still put this creamer here. Um, that's fine in the middle. You want solid cases on the corners and on the edges, and you can put these creamers in the middle. And then I would have tried to go up one more layer before putting these creamers, and I definitely wouldn't have put them, I would have tried not to put them on the corner if I could avoid it. If you get a lot of creamers, sometimes you just can't avoid it. Um, but you, you'd want to have something right here in this middle, all right? Something to lock this side with this side, okay? Something to lock it. So you want to at least make three layers that all lock together. So here's this other palette. Basically the same issue. I don't know if this is a different palette or not. Yeah, this is a different palette. So you see, I'm gonna draw this line that he's got right here. All right, you got another line right here. Boom, all right. Now this isn't a lot of stuff, so it's not gonna probably fall, but this is what you're looking for. You're looking for these cross ties. Well, actually that's not a cross tie. I have this line right here. Um, cause those don't really, I mean, it sort of overlaps right here, but not really. Um, it's not going to do much. That's a cross tie. Okay. It's a horrible cross tie. It does nothing really. It holds these two middle pieces together and that's it. These corners, nothing's holding them. If you, uh, and then also you're not on the, hold on, look, see that pallet? You can still see pallet right here. You're not on the edge of that pallet. Keep to your edges. And then you build straight. You built this is going in, okay? Because you built with these 
these uh, creamers on the corners. And then you got this box right here. I think that's creamer. I don't know. Um, it's hard to tell. But you put it on its side, so it's just crushing. It's not meant to, it has no support on the side. A lot of these have arrows on them. Sometimes you can ignore, ignore them, but most of the time you should probably go by the arrow. They built the box for certain, um, with a certain structure, and that's why they use those arrows. Um, so you could have taken this box. It's turned, it's probably a box that's long ways like that. All right. And then turned it this way so that it overlapped this box. And then you take this box. I can't, it's hard to tell right here. Now, this box looks like it's lower than this one, but it almost looks like it's the same product. So it's hard to tell. Um, let me get all this stuff off. So they're basically the same height. Maybe this is a little lower. I'm not for sure. Um, but you definitely want to take something and go across it like that, okay? And lock it together. All right, lock that together. And then take, something, take these, these two, and turn them the other way too. So that you had this one going like that and locking this box with that box, all right? And you put something right here, okay? And then you're gonna take this, this could have probably stayed the same, and maybe put another box here. And then you can lock this one back to this one. You're building a brick house. That's what cross tying is. People don't always understand what cross tying is. You're building a brick house, all right? This is a horrible build that I just drew. It's hard to draw with a mouse. Uh, let's go to the next one. All right, this is a very small pallet. It really doesn't matter. And you're gonna get a lot of these small pallets when you're first learning to order select. They're not gonna give you something big, usually. Um, and then you have this back pallet over here. That I think it's the one we just looked at. Uh, they You probably could have had it all on one pallet if you built it right. And you could have taken, you got these boxes probably when you got the boxes that were back here um, on the previous pallet. Let me see if I can go back. Yeah, right. These boxes, you got these at the same time that you got um, these boxes right here. All right. So you could have taken all these good boxes and made one really solid base and just locked all that stuff together. All right, locked it all, made these cro beautiful cross ties. I don't know what you would have got, but you, uh, that's not a cross tie. That's, ignore that, bad, bad, bad. But something like that maybe. It's hard, it's hard to, to say, like I do it instinctively and I don't know exactly what all boxes you got, but that's what you're going for. And uh, you can see my, I have a cooler video where I build, I use, I like to use stackers because they have them available, but if they don't have them available, you need to cross tie. I can build without stackers. It just, it, it, it helps with my OCD a little bit just to build a really super sturdy um, pallet. Cause when you use a stacker, it's one big giant cross tie. It locks everything together. You don't need to do that. It just, it, it wastes time. But anyway, ignore what I just said. You're just working on cross tying right now. Get your fundamentals down before you start doing stuff like throwing a pallet on here or something else. Learn from your mistakes. If it falls, okay, that's learning time. That's where did it fall? All right, did this corner fall? Because that's what that, that's what's going to happen if this was even taller. So look what you did. Right there, okay. This corner falls because there's no there's no cross tying there. You you did a cross tie right here though. So that's that's a cross tie. You did do a cross tie there. And these I probably would have turned them the other way. These are long boxes. Um well, I don't know. Maybe not put this here. I don't know. Sorry to say you, you have other cases you can move them around. But you want to put light cases together. You see you got these light cases right here together, but you didn't use them. You just stacked them up vertically and just set them on top kind of however. Um, maybe change that later, I don't know. But then if you have a small pallet like this, you want to level this thing out. So leveling out means have a flat top. So if you could have done this a little bit better and built these like layers, these flat layers, when you get to this top one, um, basically 
you can make it flat so they can put another pallet on top of it so they can load it, all right? If you build a solid base, uh, that's good for the loaders, and they're not going to get mad at you, uh, especially if you're bringing them level pallets all the time that they can stack another pallet on and load that in the truck because they're going to get a bunch of little small ones sometimes, and they're going to stack another pallet here and maybe, maybe a third pallet, all right, to get it going. All right, so like this. This one, you, you don't have anything really good here. This is a small pallet. Uh, there's nothing, uh, loader isn't gonna try to stack on top of this. Uh, there's not enough structure here. But you still, you start off bad right there. Um, not, not, I mean, you cross tied right here. And, but you have a box right here that's lower than this box, right there. See how these two are, this one's lower than that? Uh, I'm, I could be wrong. It could be an optical illusion. But you want to put your higher cases on the corners and have the lowers in the middle and then try to, if, if, if you don't have any matching cases, okay? You'd rather lean in than lean out, okay? Um, let's get rid of that. This one, you nearly built a good solid base to start with. What you could have done, so... This is the same at, which one is this? 906. So this is the same picture right here. This is the back end of it. You see how it's leaning back or whatever? And you got this pallet here. Right here, you did good. This is cross tying. You used your five ties and you cross tied them. You, ch you alternated your, your stacking. But let's go back to, where is it? And this one. All right, so you have this gap here because you have this big tall box. And what you could have done is taken this tall box and put it, let's say back here somewhere, all right? Put it back here on the next layer. Not even use this pallet at all. Don't use that pallet at all, but move it to the next layer. And then take in this box that you got right here, that's clearly the same as this. They're the same box. And then like, you may not have known your, it was coming, but you could, you're taking a guess, or you're trying to guess what's ahead. You're planning for ahead, always. You're thinking, okay, these boxes are coming up. I can get ready for them, or I have a hole to fill. I know some more boxes might be coming, and they did. So you could have put this on the next layer up here, and then taken this one, and when it showed up, put it right here. Then you have another level cross-tied spot. Throw that pallet out of there. You don't need it. And then taking this one, cross tied it here. And it's okay that this one back here is a little bit taller than all these other boxes because you're high enough up. You're about three foot up by then. So then you can start, it, it's, it's less important. You wanna lock all these base pal, uh, cases together. You wanna lock them all together so that you have a solid base to build upon, all right? That's your foundation, all right? Same thing, or same pallet. This is just the other side of it. And then above here, it's it's pretty much, as it's leaning, you see, the way, the way it's leaning, this is a vertical column right here, for the most part. This is just one big hunk. Then you got another hunk over here, okay? There's no structure there. This could easily fall out if you had to wrap this. You probably wrapped it while you were order selecting. This wasn't after the fact. This was to keep it from falling. And all you had to do was choose your cases, like move. You don't have to build one layer, then the next layer, then the next layer. You can be building multiple layers at the same time. So you can choose, okay, this box isn't going to work here. Put it to the next layer on this corner, and maybe it'll work on the next layer. And then put a box that will work right here, and you can make another good level layer. All right? And it, that's just, so you don't have to go all right there. You can do one corner, build it up a little bit, or one layer above it, while you're trying to find one that'll fit on this corner. Anyway, so that's basically uh, all of his pallets. This is some other pallets. These are good pallets that I found in my Discord uh, that people have submitted. You may have seen these in different videos, but these are examples to go by. This is somebody who built uh, with juice. This is a similar... This, this is cooler aisle, and let's see. They built a cross tie here. They got a cross tie right here. 
And then, so this, this is, I'm gonna show you, this brick pattern. And you see it's vertical, it's straight. It's straight up and down, okay? And then, right here, I'm gonna show these, these cross ties. That's a cross tie, okay? That's, that's not, hold on, let's go back. That's not a cross tie, okay? But it's in the middle, right here, crossed. Cross right here, all right? Come up, right there, T. That little T right there, that's cross tie. Uh, Tim reviews everything, calls it uh, something else, but that's what we call it at my warehouse. Cross tie. That's that's just this is a column right here. You can see how he's he's basically when you're working, you're working on corners. You want to build solid corners, all right? So you can see here, we can actually let's get rid of let's go back a little bit. All right, I went too 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 much. All right, we're gonna go build this back up because I kind of messed up here. Because this, you can just see this structure. I'm trying to show you where the structure points are. Not just where there's separation of boxes, but we're looking for, for actual structure. All right, yeah, that's a cross tie. There's a cross tie. I'm gonna go all the way up. See, at the top, it really doesn't matter. He basically went, because it gets tall, it doesn't matter, it's, it's hard to do that. So this is, you're building pallets opposite of what you should be doing, basically. So this is what your base is looking like, and this is kind of what your top's looking like, but you need to flip that, all right? So right here, you got no, not a lot of structure here, but basically, he, he built this, cross-tied the next layer over this, okay? See how none of these lines are totally matching up with the bottom? All right, like brick pattern. Look, look, at, look at some bricks, look at a brick house and you'll see this. Um, but then he built two cross-tied corners. So he split his pallet up into four sections basically. He built this corner, he built this corner, and then he re-came back and re-tied them together up here. He cross tied above it. You see that? That that'll work. If you can't if you can't cross tie if you can't cross tie right here, then cross tie right above it and lock the one below that you couldn't cross tie. But this is cross tied right here and then cross tied right here. And he's got a lot of weight up here, so this is going to hold together really well. You'd be surprised how well a cross tie will hold something together. He probably doesn't even have to wrap this. He might lose these cases up here. If he takes the corner too quick, okay? But that's it. Not gonna lose his whole side. There's no way. That's not all gonna come down because they're all locked together, all right? Uh, I think this is Tim reviews everything again, all right? This is his uh, palette, I'm pretty sure. He's put this on my Discord. And he knows what he's doing. You're not gonna see pallets like this in your warehouse because this is dry goods. Um, but the fundamentals are here still you have let's see if we can it was complicated he's you got a lot of stuff going here but he 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 did cross tie right here he's got the corner of this box sitting on this box and the other corner sitting on this box locking each side together right here all right that's basically his structure right there um let's see it's hard to see where the line is here uh I'm gonna, s yeah, it's hard to tell. I don't know. We're gonna, I think that's a cross tie. I can't tell there. Um, right here, he cross tied. Not as big a deal. But you see, he's got this case with this case. It's the same looking case. Maybe this is all one. Is that one case? Okay, this might be all one case. All right. But anyway, so he cross tied down here. He's got a nice. Good bottom. He didn't cross tie here. He made a little columns, and then he cross tied again because he he knew he was going to build really tall. That's cross tie locking these columns together. Cross tie column, cross tie, 
and then he did more cross tie. That's what he. That's what it looks like up here. Did more cross tie. But anyway, let's get back. Uh, let's see. Let's see this one. He he built two vertical columns, and then cross tied right above it. He knew what he's. He knew what was coming. You can see what cases are coming. You can kind of. You can do things that are not exactly um, ideal because you know you're going to get something later. Uh, once you learn your warehouse, you're going to learn what's coming. He knew this stuff was coming. He knew what was coming up and that he could get away with these columns because he could lock it in later. Um, but he still cross-tied these columns. These are solid columns. It's not... Um, he, he built these corners, Okay. Column right here, there's no structure right here, but he's locked these together. He didn't put, like, he didn't make a line of, of stuff like that. It, it, that wouldn't work. It would just fall over. And, I mean, it might not. It might not fall over. You never know. But that's what they're getting mad at you about. See, this is what you should have done with that one pallet that you showed me. With that gap. You see how this is a level, level. These are meat cases. Sure, this is your deli section. And he threw a pad up here. Not necessary at all, okay? Um, especially this high up. It's not necessary. Just throw those on top of this. This is such a solid base. You can't, in in warehouses, this is the best you're ever going to get. These meat boxes are sturdy for the most part if you lock them together. If you build columns of them, they're going to collapse and fall over, all right? And if you build on level, like if you build with a small case here and then a big case here, it's gonna sink in and it's gonna lean and fall over, all right? And what he should have done here, th this guy, you can learn from him, he should have taken this layer right here, all this up here, and moved it down here, okay? And then he could have had this all cross-tied um, together, all right? And then got rid of that pallet. He wouldn't need that pallet. Neither of these pallets are necessary at all. And then he could have two solid bases. And then he can stack on it. However, he, he built little columns here. This is a new guy too. But he, he kind of figured it out a little bit. He still built columns here. But he had a solid base to build on. But he could have separated that out a little bit. You have two pallets to work with. Unless they're telling you to, that you have to put these cases on this pallet. And these cases on this pallet. You can move them around. Not, not always, but you're at Albertsons, uh, I'm pretty sure they don't care. As long as you build solid pallets. So you can move them back and forth. And that's it. Alright. Hopefully that helps. Um, if you have any more questions, message me in the Discord. I left you a big long paragraph. Read it carefully. I know it's a lot of words. Um, there's a lot of good information there. Pretty much touching on everything that I just talked about. And... Um, yeah, I hope that uh, you can get it figured out. Just stick with it. You know, don't be afraid to lose some cases. Just pick them back up. Learn from your mistakes. And talk with your loaders, especially ones that are taking pictures. Ask them, like, hey, uh, what is it about this that uh, is, what's the problem with this? Maybe they'll give you the time of day. Probably not. Uh, loaders can kind of be uh, a-holes to new guys. Um but if you start bringing them good pallets, they might start giving you pointers. Uh, look at other order selectors too. See what they're doing. Look, because every warehouse is different. You're going to have different techniques depending on how it's laid out. Um, people are planning for certain things to come up. And so they, they build in a certain way uh, depending on where they're at. But the fundamental is you're going to build a good base and you're going to cross tie it and you're going to stick to your edges. Just remember those three things. And the rest is going to fall in place, all right? You got to just, just stick with those. Those fundamentals, work on those. Work on building that solid base, cross-tying, keeping to your edges, all right? Um, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe.